They've just made an incredible discovery that I wanted to discuss with you in World News. It's being reported that four exceptionally preserved Roman swords were discovered in a Dead Sea cave in Israel. Israeli archaeologists show four Roman-era swords and a javelin head found during a recent excavation in a cave near the Dead Sea in Jerusalem, Wednesday, September 6, 2023. Archaeologists said the exceptionally preserved artifacts are dated to the second century when Jewish rebels launched an uprising against the Roman Empire. So the caption under the pictures, it's an AP photo by Ohad Zwigenberg, and it says Israeli archaeologists show four Roman-era swords and a javelin head found during a recent excavation in a cave near the Dead Sea in Jerusalem, Wednesday, September 6, 2023. Archaeologists said the exceptionally preserved artifacts are dated to the second century when Jewish rebels launched an uprising against the Roman Empire. And, you know, this was like the last stand. Uh, you know, the Jews were being driven away from God's holy mountain, away from what had been their temple and place of worship, and they were going to be scattered throughout all of the world. And this discovery of these swords in the javelin head not only tell a story of great resistance <laughs> but also just the fact that these weapons were used to slay a lot of people and thinking that they were preserved like evidence for the last days for us to see it's an extraordinary discovery. You know, they did find um, what was left of one of the Roman swords down underneath where you go in, um, you know, there was a tunnel that went from the Pool of Siloam or Shiloach, and the people took that pathway, the staircase, to go up to the end of the um, hold the gates where they entered to go up to the temple and people hid in the tunnels underneath the road there and they were discovered by the Romans and they actually found a sword in that cave that you know remained and they slaughtered everybody that they found hiding underneath there so we know that these were not just you know something like a decorator weapon you know that you hang on your wall these were actually weapons of war and caused great terror among people so it's just amazing to me that they found these and the fact that they were you know they found the hilts and scabbards and the swords were preserved inside the scabbards just incredible This report is from Jerusalem. Four Roman-era swords, their wooden and leather hilts and scabbards and steel blades exquisitely preserved after 1,900 years in a desert cave surfaced in a recent excavation by Israeli archaeologists near the Dead Sea as reported by the Israel Antiquities Authority, which they announced today. And the cache of exceptionally intact artifacts was found about two months ago and tells a story of empire and rebellion, of long-distance conquest and local insurrection. Researchers who published the preliminary findings in a newly released book proposed that the arms, four swords, and the head of a javelin known as a pilum were stashed in the remote cavern by Jewish rebels during an uprising against the Roman Empire in 
the 130s. The swords were dated based on their typology and have not yet undergone radiocarbon dating. The find was part of the Antiquities Authority's Judean Desert Survey, which aims to document and excavate caves near the Dead Sea and secure scrolls and other precious artifacts before looters have a chance to plunder them. The cool, arid, and stable climate of the desert caves has allowed exceptional preservation of organic remains, including hundreds of ancient parchment fragments known as the Dead Sea Scrolls. Those Jewish texts discovered last century and dated to the first centuries BCE and AD contain the earliest known versions of the Hebrew Bible as well as an assortment of esoteric writings. Archaeologists returned to this particular cave near the desert oasis of En Gedi to document an inscription found decades earlier. And of course En Gedi is where King David hid from King Saul. And there is a waterfall there like an oasis in the desert. At the back of the cave, in one of the deepest parts of it, inside a niche, I was able to retrieve that artifact, the Roman pillum head, which came out almost in mint condition, said Asaph Geyer, an archaeologist with Ariel University. But though the swords were found on the eastern edge of the Roman Empire, they were likely crafted in a distant European province like Rome, I would say, and brought to the province of Judea by soldiers in the military, said Guy Stivell, a Tel Aviv University archaeologist specializing in Roman military history. He said the quality of their preservation was exceptionally rare for Roman weapons, with only a small handful of examples from elsewhere in the empire and beyond its borders. Each one of them can tell you an entire story, he said. Future research will focus on studying its manufacture and the origin of the materials in order to tease out the history of the objects and the people it belonged to, Roman soldiers and Jewish rebels. And they also reflect a much grander narrative of the entire Roman Empire in the fact that from a small cave in a very remote place, on the edge of the empire, we can actually shed light about those mechanisms is the greatest joy that the scientists can have, he said. Another article states that they were found in a near inaccessible crevice by a team photographing an ancient inscription on a stalactite. And Eli Escuzito, director of the Israeli Antiquities Authority, said this is a unique time capsule whereby fragments of scrolls, coins from the Jewish revolt, leather sandals, and now even swords in their scabbards, sharp as if they had only just been hidden away today. That's incredible. So I'm going to show you just a couple of short little excerpts from their video of this discovery. And this is the Israeli Antiquities Authority. <laughs> שנגנבו או נלקחו כשלל במהלך מרד אה, בר כוכבא נמצא באמת נדיר בקנה מידה בינלאומי שבעצם ישפוך אור על הרגעים האחרונים של המלחמה של המורדים היהודים כנגד הצבא הרומי במהלך מרד בר כוכבא שהשתמרו בצורה מדהימה גם מבחינת מצב המתכת, ידיות האחיזה, גם הנדנים רואים את הלהבים בשימור מדהים, שאפשר לחשוב ש, ש, שאפשר להשתמש בהם גם, גם כרגע, גם אלפיים שנה אחרי שחישלו אותם. רק בן seen those Roman swords, it just makes you realize how much the Romans terrorized people with their brutality. 
those were some very wide blades on those weapons. So just think about that era and how it came and went and how the Roman Caesars came to nothing. So it doesn't matter how much power you have, how much uh, billions that people have or trillions at their disposal. You can truly see how their empire, as brutal as it was, came to nothing. So let this be a lesson to the rich orchestrating evil against other people that just like the Roman Empire came crashing down to an end and is in the dustbin of history so too will the false messiah and his kingdom and all of the minions working towards this evil agenda that I've been talking about in the last few videos and it will come to nothing it will be in the dustbin of history and guess who will be the victor but the king of kings and lord of lords and he is coming with a flaming sword and that flaming sword is the word of God so it's sharper than any two-edged sword just like the Roman swords that we see here that were preserved for nearly 2,000 years. So let this be a lesson to all of the WEF and all of their climate group and everything they're orchestrating together. And today I just wanted to talk about something a little different. And this is just an amazing discovery. And I just think of how many people were slain by those weapons, you know, whose blood is on there. And it's really incredible history. I'll talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed this little excerpt of this information revealed to the world and truly extraordinary. I think that the fact that Jesus is coming soon is also interesting because those swords are almost as old as how long he's been gone. You know, um, it's amazing. One more really astounding archaeological discovery, that's for sure. Alright, see you in the next video, guys. Shalom for now.